Hello friends, it's me, and today we're gonna be checking out some really cool jobs. This is called the Foley Artist. They do custom sound effects for shows and movies. This is how they do it. Those aren't real steps. Someone else step in the steps for you. Even the slide of the shoe on the mat. Using lettuce as a sound effect. So like whenever they're opening something in a movie, they're usually getting the sound from something else. If you want to look like a fool, buy ice cream in Turkey. So they do absolutely nothing but play games with you the whole entire time. <laughs> I can't deal with this, bro. I just wanted my ice cream. And he still didn't give it to her. But wait, it gets worse. This don't go on for seconds. This goes on for minutes, sometimes days. They will have you standing there for hours while they bamboozle you into your ice cream. And look, look, he look like he's doing something, right? He's about to pull out this giant glob of ice cream and then smash the cone right in there. She still hasn't got her ice cream yet. All right, for real this time. Here, take that. Nope, too slow. Oh, man. Like, when I tell you, they got all day to play these games. How I want to, like, go there to try to bamboozle them so quick. I'm gonna grab that cone and shove it right up his... Eat it respectfully in the corner. So I thought this was a dog walker, but apparently they own a hound kennel. That's a lot of hounds. If y'all are bad, the hound's gonna go to the pound. Now I'm sure they're all very good doggies. Now there gotta be some bad ones in there. So y'all are probably gonna be like, this person works at a movie theater, but it isn't just a regular movie theater. Wait till you open the doors, step inside. Whoa, that's an entire village. Where are we? We got Barbara at the gate. So with your movie ticket, you got a free arcade, lots of food. Food is always good. You go up the stairs, there's a bar, a mini bar, recliners. I feel like all the theaters in my area got recliners now. They really upgraded. This is called art restoration. So there are people that take very old pieces of art and restore them. So first they have to clean them. Oh, that's very satisfying. An art conservator. Whoa, so they take those dusty, crusty, musty old pieces of art. You know, some are like hundreds of years old. They gotta like clean them and sometimes they gotta like take the paint and like fix it up. Mona Lisa's makeup need to be touched up. That's what they do. I'd be so nervous to like accidentally ruin the art. I'd be painting like this is how they make fake grass. They basically take like a spool of thread, but the thread is grass. Cut it, and then what? Unroll it and then it's fake grass? That's it? What a satisfying job. Brain numbing. All you gotta do is like, bonk. <laughs> grass, done. Boom. Hydro dipping, that's a real job. There's some people that do custom hydro dipping. So you see they got this design. It's already in the paint and everything. They're gonna be dipping this mug today. And then just like, oh, there's a whole entire technique to it. Just swish, swash, whoa, it's like paint splatter. That's very cool. And like any design that you put in the paint, you can put it on anything. I thought they were hydro dipping a toilet seat for a second. And then this thing, is that part of a car? Is that like part of like an ATV? When I say you can hydro dip anything, I mean it. You could hydro dip your own foot if you wanted to. So they own an ATM business. So that's how you unlock it. Oh, and then you can open it up. And then you have access to the actual machine. If you have an ATM, you need a lot of money. Literal stacks on stacks on stacks. Count it all out, pop it into your machine. Charge that 395 fee. So they work at a bakery. That's a lot of dough. You know what you use dough for? Donuts. Pop them in the fryer. Oh, and then the toppings. Oh, what a delicious job. I work at a ski resort. I get to snowboard every day. Oh, must be nice. Always the first one on the slope. Sometimes I meet cute girls. Oh, bro, don't even get me started about this. I got ski lessons at a resort, and let me tell you, those dudes are like... Thirsty! But no, for real, this would be so fun. Like, I would love skiing all day. Cutting and shredding trees. It is a job. Somebody's got to do it. So they pop them in the shredder. Oh, I've seen this in movies, but they didn't put trees in there. <laughs> yeah, anything you put in there shreds it real good. This is like one of the ways to hide a body. I didn't know this was a thing, but there are moose instructors. For what? For like zoos? Do they even got mooses at the zoo? What's the plural of moose? Mooses? Mice? No, that's already taken. I didn't know people like train them. I thought they just take their antlers and call it a day. 
this has got to be one of the coolest ones. She is a real life mermaid. And I've seen these before. They have them like on cruise ships and like, I don't know, anywhere you go like on vacation, like to a beach or like an aquarium. Like she stays underwater. She got a little air tube. I, I don't know if you knew this, but she she's still human. They got to breathe air. But like, I can't imagine how excited the kids would get. Like, oh my God, like a real mermaid. There she is, Ariel. This would be so fun. Imagine if she had red hair though. Kids be passing out thinking she an actual Disney princess. So they have a 3D printing business where they 3D print things. A lamp, it changes colors. It's crazy what you can 3D print these days. Like if you can design it, you can print it. POV or a makeup influencer. Look at all the PR they get. Y'all get sent so much makeup. Even I do. I'm not even a makeup YouTuber. And I get sent more makeup than I could ever use in like 10 lifetimes. There are people that have entire rooms full of free makeup that they have gotten from companies that send it to them for free. The best part about this is never having to go to Sephora ever again. What is like being an NBA ball girl? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, so the people on like the side of the court, they mop the floors and they get the balls. You could say she really knows her way around balls. A ball expert, if you will. Here we got a farmer. But what do farmers do? Also, what kind of farmer are you? Open the door. Reveal your, oh, a chicken farmer. Oh, there are so many of them. There's so many of them. Y'all ever just want to lay in there and get pecked? <gasps> I've seen so many TikToks of people that make ice cream cakes and they're so satisfying. Like you take the cake, you get the ice cream, whatever flavor you want. Oh, so smooth. And some people really love this job. Oh, I wish I got the cake that they were doing a TikTok on because they put extra love and effort into this one. Fancy. So this is what a day in the life of a florist looks like. Go to Home Depot, get some plants, that's a lot of plants. Put some cocoa puffs in the vase, some dirt, pop in all the plants. Also, they're gonna make an arrangement. You see, something I am very bad at. But somehow they can just like look at all the things that like go together, pop them in, and wa-bam, water it. It's beautiful and charge $99.95 for this. Y'all are so lucky I can't arrange my own succulents. Then I would've ended up spending $20. It would've been over for you. Here we got a professional glass blower. Okay, but do they actually like blow it? Yeah, I didn't think so. They don't even use their mouth. A mouth is not even required. Like basically, they took this molten hot glass, combed its hair, and then made this. That's wild. Grandma over here is a celebrity jeweler. ASAP Eva. <laughs> so drippy. She really holding up a mansion on each wrist. She makes wood sculptures for a living. When she whipped out those tools, I'm like, girl, what are you doing? It's like a paint chipper. And then whole entire sculptures out of wood. So if you work in wildlife rescue, this is what your day can look like. Oh, she got a snake. Pick it up like that. That's a fat goral. Thicky. Okay. So you find a snake in your house, apartment, whatever. You call the snake girl and she'll come collect them. Aww. All right. So she takes them and then rehomes them. Back into the wild you go. Drive 50 miles out in the middle of nowhere. Drop them off on the side of the road. Bye. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button though. Hey, comment below. Let me know which one of these was the coolest job. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.